Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you today on how you can actually unblock Discord on your school Chromebook. So by the end of the video today, you'll be able to actually have access to Discord on your school Chromebook. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So for the very first step here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and head over to any browser. Now, this could be any browser in school Chromebook, whatever it might be. So once you're in the search bar, go ahead and type in glitch.com. Now here on glitch.com, you can see that this is actually a place where everyone can build, you know, special projects with coding and much more. So what we're going to go ahead and do here on the website for the second step is we're going to want to go ahead and click the search bar right here. Now go ahead and click it. Once you do that, go ahead and type in proxy. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and click enter and it should now search up all results regarding proxy here. Now there is playlist right here. You could see highlighted now. And at the bottom, you're going to want to go ahead and visit projects for the third step. Now here, you're going to want to go through kind of a trial and error process. Now you're going to want to find one that works for you. Now there are definitely a lot of them that work here, but you want to find one that you're comfortable with and is easily accessed. So I found that Mason's proxy right here is probably the easiest one to use and I've used it before. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one and I'm going to go ahead and go down for the fourth step and then click visit right here. Once I've done that, it should bring me to his unblocker. Now this applies for every other uh, proxy on the actual glitch.com website and project. You can actually go ahead and access it just by clicking that visit button. So you should be in the actual unblocker here. So now I'm gonna go ahead, click discord right up here. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and actually have the ability or the option here to actually choose what proxy I want to run it on. Now I'm going to run it on Stealth Ultraviolet, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Once I've done that, it's going to go ahead and load up Discord.com with the proxy. Now the proxy is essentially going to work as a virtual network and basically your school Chromebook won't actually detect it. Now you can see here we are now on the discord.gg website and basically now I can go ahead and log in or create a new account here with discord and basically that's how it's done. It's very easy and it's super easy to do guys. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you didn't, please comment down below what I should actually go ahead and make another video on. All right, I'll go ahead and update this video if they do block it and stuff. So make sure you comment down below. Uh, you know, if that it does get blocked, right? So with that being said, hopefully you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you until next time.